Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to do another reverse dip painting on an 8x10 canvas. The colors we're using today are Liquitex Medium Magenta, Liquitex Deep Violet, Artist Loft Turquoise, Artist Loft Thalo Green, and Artist Loft Deep Yellow. All of these paints are mixed with both Floetrol and water. And I think we're going to kind of stick with, I don't know, a theme that I feel like I've been doing lately where I do a clean pour on the entire thing, make sure we get the edges, and then do the reverse dip. Um, last time we did this, I did it with bubble wrap. I think traditionally people just use saran wrap. Um, but today I'm actually just going to use a gallon size baggie. And it'll fit on here like that. I just don't want to accidentally dip it in that leftover paint that hasn't quite dried yet. So I will go ahead and get started pouring this on. Um, a lot of these colors are darker so I wanted to use that pink pretty generously or I guess technically that's magenta um, because I feel like oftentimes my darker colors seem to out do the lighter one <laughs> so that was the purpose of pouring so much of that on that was intentional for those of you who do not like pink or magenta sorry I keep using the wrong word there <laughs> I am sorry for those of you who do yay <laughs> I don't know what to say <laughs> all right we have way too much paint on here I'm really good at that But it's okay, because it always turns out super cool. And we get skin, so it's not like it gets wasted. <gasps> Dang, again, look at this, guys. Who needs any techniques? Just clean pour. I'm going to run a little bit of that pink off. Look at that. So amazing. I love, love this. We've already got, like, some, like, like maroon colors coming out of that. Um... Who knows? The violet and something maybe or another? Alright, we will get started with the, uh, the baggy. I might have some trouble with my edges, which, you know, isn't all that uncommon, sadly. Let's see here. Oh, no. Okay guys, don't accidentally do that. I didn't really realize I was pressing that hard down on it. But hey, luckily, we have so much paint, we can just uh, scooch it all over here and fix that little blunder. I don't really know how that happened. Maybe I just really wasn't paying that much attention. I didn't think I was doing it that hard. I guess it didn't take that much to, uh, to cause that problem, that much pressure down. All right, I am very excited about whatever is about to happen here. Get some of this stuff out of the way so I'll have a spot to put this because last time I was able to like dip on top of that, so it was pretty cool. So just in case the same thing happens here. Uh, I'm just actually going to pull it off all in one direction because there's um, paint on the bottom of that. Normally I would try to pick it up and put it in the middle. Also, that technique is really more for the flower pour, like how you, like, like the last time we did it where you pour little puddles into kind of a flowery shape. So doing it this way with it being all abstract, probably it won't hurt it one single bit. So here we go. Oh, it's so cool. You guys can't see it yet, but it's so cool. <laughs> okay, let me gently put this down. And actually, I'm not gonna dip this. I think I'll be able to pull it off of here potentially, and that will be a beautiful skin. So I'm actually not going to touch that at all. Thinking about it now. Hopefully it'll come off of that plastic just fine. 
I'm going to torch it. And I love this. Look at this. This is so cool. And our edges aren't actually terrible. And it kind of looked like it was going to be a problem. But I don't really think it is. Not unless something crazy happens in the drying process. Which, you know, may or may not happen. But it's okay. Yeah. I actually think I like it the way that you're seeing it right now. So whenever we come in for the close-up, it will be upside down for you. But... I do like it that direction better. There we go. Let me bring you in for the close up. Let's like see a few more air bubbles. They're being a little stubborn today. Alright, now we'll bring you in for the close up. Alright, we are here for the close up. I love the colors and as much pink as it seemed like I poured on here there's not that much I ran a, a lot of it off but yeah we've got they're very very vibrant colors here and I love the orange and the turquoise or orange I like the deep yellow and the turquoise that does look really orange that's probably why that color came to mind sorry I'm getting all distracted because it's so pretty <laughs> We do have a few pink cells, magenta, and this uh, violet. Love the turquoise there, along with that phthalo green. And then that orange, orange made out of the yellow and probably the violet, but I don't really know. I guess it could be the magenta. There's a little cluster of really pretty cells, and I love this fiery corner down here. It's really pretty considering that color is not in the, the pour. I'll also show you the baggie. Do a close up on this. So this side here, let's see if we can, this side here is what was at the bottom from what you, you guys saw. So this, this side will be the bottom here and this side will be the top up here. So yeah, if that's important to you to know, <laughs> now you do. But yeah, it's super cool. Oh, look at that lacing. The violet and the magenta. And some cells. Really weird how cells came out of it, considering it was just poured on and the plastic just pulled off. Kind of a little rainbow area down there. But yeah. Really, really cool. Really pretty. I love it. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do it makes you happy.